here off the road trailer and truck big old dodge and here's an rv off the road right here for the last few miles guys it has been bad there's been tractor trailer after tractor trailer after tractor trailer tons of vehicles and stuff off the road um it started at about 57 south mile marker 254 and now we are um, i think we're just south of champaign and it is the roads are absolutely atrocious out here they're just covered in ice there's barely any spots once you get to mile marker 254 south on 57 uh, you can't this is it's nothing but pure ice that we're riding on right now luckily i put the blizz axe on the car yesterday before um and it's just tons of trucks everywhere trucks rvs cars um trucks flipped over on top of trucks tanker trucks off in the side of the road it's it's really bad it's extremely bad right now Well, we're at mile marker 242 now, so um, from 254 to 242, we've been about 12 miles, 13 miles now. It is just nothing but straight icy roads, and there's no plow trucks, there's no salt truck. I can feel the vehicle. Luckily, I have the blizz axe. I can feel the vehicle shifting on the road constantly as I'm driving like it barely has traction. So everybody's driving super slow. The tractor trailer off the road right up here. Here's another car in the ditch down here. Looks like snow is all the way up to the side, the or like a third of the door. It's just buried. Here's another tractor trailer and semi right up here on the left. Yeah, he ran, he run all the way across the median. He's straddling the whole entire median. Here's another vehicle off the road right here. It uh, looks like a transit van. It's all smashed in. Wow. Oh, there's two trucks and a car right here. Holy shit. And there's another truck off the road over here. Made the whole front end of this truck is ripped off of it. There's tandems off of a damn trailer right there. Ripped off the truck completely. Oh my god. There's another truck off the road. This guy's truck is destroyed. This guy is all the way off the road over here. All right, I'm gonna get off. I gotta, I gotta relax for a second. I'm gonna get off right here, get myself back together, kind of reset, um, use the bathroom. It is, it's extremely bad right now. Guys are running off the road completely off the road. Oh no, I'm not driving 55, I'm driving like 25 to 30 mile an hour real slow with my flashers on. We just gotta get out of Illinois. I don't know how it is down in Kentucky and Tennessee, but we just gotta get out of Illinois to get get out of all this. Which way did it say the fuel station was? I think it was McDonald's is that way. I'll just go that way then. Look, these tires, I'll tell you what, guys, these Blizzaks that I have on the car, absolutely phenomenal for being in this stuff. Just the traction is unreal, especially with a town car that doesn't have good traction in snow and stuff. These Blizzaks change the whole game with how this car rides. It doesn't really slip around. It doesn't get all crazy out of control. And when it does start to slip, you almost feel the tires trying to help you grab and correct immediately and then when you come to braking on like ice or snow the pleats start to lay down and they actually help you increase your braking performance and they really start to grab the road look at all these trucks going into this fuel station it is absolutely unreal 
I don't know if you're gonna be able to get in this place. This is crazy. Wow. I guess these trucks kinda wanna be off the road too. I'll let these trucks pass real quick so I don't block them. They can share. You can share the road just like everybody else is. This is all ice. It's nasty. God, this is bad. What are these guys doing? What are they waiting for? This is the fuel station's not even blocked up and they're still sitting in a line. Pull into the freaking fuel station, do your business. What the hell are they waiting for? Look at all this snow right here. They've just been packing it down and packing it down. It looks like there's a car stuck up here as well over in the snow. Like all the snow has been plowed up against that car right there. You got a problem with that? If you have a problem with that, you can easily get booted off here. Don't fucking start running your goddamn mouth. I ain't gonna listen to that bullshit. Don't say shit. Shut the fuck up and don't say nothing. Fuck, this thing they can get on here, run their fucking yeah, like somebody ain't gonna chuck them, bitch, please. Okay, I get gas, you go inside. Oh, uh, no, maybe just give me an energy drink in case. Let's see what fuel prices are here. Oh, same price. Loving these Blizzak, baby. Well, it's bad here, brother. I'm glad you guys have to, uh, you guys are seasoned at probably driving in this stuff, so you're a little bit more safe than what we have here in Illinois. These people here, they act like they don't know how to damn drive. But now the gas store is frozen. It's got a little ice buildup in there, I bet you. Yeah, it sure does, too. Never had that happen before. Yeah, these uh, this town cars pushing right through it. No problem. But the, down in southern Illinois, man, they weren't lying when they said they got hit hard. Because uh, up by us, they said we were supposed to, you know, we could get up to like 10, 12 inches or something like that. But we only ended up getting, I think, about, in most places, between 3.5 to like 7 inches. They got hit hard down here. And it is cold, much, much colder down here in southern Illinois than it is up north. You'd think it'd be the other way around. Averaging about 21, 
miles to the gallon. And remember, I have the 373 gear set in this car, so she ain't gonna do as good as some of the other ones. Remove nozzle, got it. Select what you want, got it. Put the 87 octane tune back in it recently. Uh, I'm going down to Alabama. I got some uh, family business I got to take care of down there. It's absolutely crazy. Seeing all those... As soon as we hit mile marker 254, I started seeing all the semis in the ditch and all the cars and stuff. I was like, man, this is bad, man. Yeah, this yeah. is bad. Just came, where are you coming from? South or north? I'm coming from north. From north? Yeah, I'm headed down to Alabama. I got some family stuff I got to take care of, so I had to take Somebody a couple. Somebody told me you're going south, Alabama. I'm going. Another Terry of them going to see. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that south is even worse. There's gonna, It's going to be really, really bad. Yeah. Well, you're going north, right? I'm going south, my brother. Oh, you're going south. So you've seen everything I've seen already. All the trucks that were flipped over and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, somebody told me south, it's even more. Yeah. The trucks. That's what I heard as well. If south of here, what we've seen is nothing compared to what we're yeah, going yeah, to see. Yeah. 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 Good luck. Same. Right. Same. Yeah, they were saying that uh, even further south of where we're at right now, um, it's going to be worse. There's less plow, plow trucks, there's less roads that were cleared, and it's uh, extremely bad. So, I wanted to check in with you guys, and uh, I'll periodically do so, but as soon as you hit 257 south, or 254 south on 57, it's a nightmare. It is just all over the place and uh, it's it's bad so I will update you guys here in a little bit and uh, yeah we'll go from there but I appreciate y'all uh, be blessed and uh, have a great day be safe talk to you later